Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cabin in the Woods. I hope uh, December is not too depressing for you guys. It is December 1st today, right? It's going to be December 1st when I post this, so... Um, hopefully I can get these videos going until the end of the year, depending on how busy it gets. So let's just grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and let's wash this together right away. Not wash, but watch. Uh, video is so scary you'll go wackadoo. Alright. The Hanging Man. In his home in England, family man Ricky Beetle has gotten increasingly more worried about his son Elliot's abnormal behavior. One day, Ricky finds his son whispering to himself in his bedroom. So, Ricky decides to take out his phone and record as he asks little Elliot what's going on. Elliot, what are you doing? I'm trying to Oh, that's cool. What's that? What's that in the corner? The man's hanging. Oh, why have you drawn that? Because the man's hanging up there. Oh, really? Yeah. What does he do? Why? What? Could he do this? Oh, really? Yeah. But I'm not allowed to tell anybody. Okay. Five-year-old Elliot explains that he's drawn the man that is hanging in the corner of his bedroom. A man that annoys him at night by banging on the wall. What now, as if that wasn't creepy enough, Ricky later finds his son seemingly talking to someone that only he can see. Stop it. Hello? What are you doing? Um, I see them hanging. Oh, really? Yeah. Right? He's crying, and I just keep saying stop it. Is he crying? Yeah. Oh my god. So this is the photo of the hanging man he's seen in the corner of his room. I'm going to ask him to draw it again when I've rubbed it completely off. Elliot, can you draw the hanging man for me like you did before? No, can you tell me what's happening? What if I don't let him, if he can sleep in my room, is that okay? Yeah. What? Right, so what's, the, what's these on his face? What's this? Um, it's Oh, okay. Does he cry quite a lot? Yeah, because he's got his fever out of there and he's up there. Okay. In the corner. Okay, oh thank you. God. But he annoys me out of the night because he keeps saying he always bangs on you. Just... Okay, thank you. Now, Ricky believes that maybe oh his God. son Elliot just has a bit of an overactive imagination, but that soon changes. Dad Ricky becomes worried when the five-year-old can't seem to get any sleep for three nights in a row. Ricky decides to let his son try sleeping in a different room, and he installs a security camera to try to figure out what's going on. It isn't long before Elliot is woken up once again. When Dad Ricky checks the security footage, it makes his blood run cold. Oh my God. Now, Ricky thinks the strange growl in the footage is nothing more than a vent inside the room, but he has no idea what seems to be pulling Elliot out of the bed. Looking for any explanation, he decides to share his story on TikTok. So just what do you think is going on here? Could Elliot's imaginary friend perhaps not be so imaginary after all? Is the hanging man real? And what does he want with Ricky so? You know what I think about this? Seriously? I think he better not be putting that shit in his son's head and doing all this stuff to him. That's what I'm worried about. You know what I mean? He could be putting all that stuff in his son's head. I don't see why somebody would ever do that. But some people are. Would do anything for views and money. So you never know. You know? Like, this is pretty freaking spooky, okay? If my kid did this, at least you guys would know 
okay, I would never do that to my child. So you know it would, it would be real and I would try and figure it out. I don't know this person personally, so I can't tell you. But this is, this is, this should have been number one, honestly. Like, I don't know what's actually going to beat this. <sighs> I gotta clean my glasses. Son, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Locked away. Over on the popular YouTube channel, Fourth Wall, they hear a story about a very haunted house. Allegedly, the entity that haunts the house is so strong that it actually took the lives of three of the four family members who lived in the home. Locals claim that only the 10-year-old son was left alive, as his parents had kept him locked in the garage to keep him safe from this evil entity. Now, that was 20 years ago. So more recently, a paranormal enthusiast decided to do his own investigation to see if the house is really as haunted as locals claim. The man places a static camera in the room where the deceased family was found 20 years earlier. What he captures on video chills him to his core. I was gonna say it sounds like garage doors. Okay. The unexplained loud shaking of the house's garage doors can be heard in the video. But that's not all. Because did you see it? No. Someone it... can be seen standing at the entrance of the room, seemingly watching or waiting. After seeing this ominous looking figure in his footage, the investigator just gets out of there. The new owner of the house now fears that his home is cursed. So he contacts popular paranormal YouTube channel, Fourth Wall, and asks them to investigate the house. So, Fourth Wall sends in a cameraman to spend the night and capture whatever paranormal evidence he can. Wait. It did not. There's a new owner? Why is this so dusty? What the hell? What the hell? I mean, I've really let my place go before, but... Holy frick. Go well. Oh, or do they mean like it's just a new owner, they just bought it and they're gonna rent it out or something? Maybe, yeah. Unexplained voice. The unexplained voice of a woman can be heard, but what the voice says isn't clear. <laughs> the cameraman is a bit freaked out and looks all around, but he is all alone in the house. The investigator decides to leave static night excited. vision cameras inside and outside the garage where the little boy was found unharmed 20 years earlier. The man then leaves the property to see if anything happens while he's gone. When he reviews his footage later, he is shocked by what he captured. I don't see it. The garage doors begin to shake violently as a pale figure seems to walk past the lower opening of one door, ambling slowly towards the room where the family's bodies were found 20 years earlier. The camera outside the garage captures the same loud shaking of the garage doors, but there's no figure to be seen. So 20 years ago, was this what took the unfortunate family's lives? 
and did they lock their son in the garage to keep him safe from whatever this is? I think this you is decide. This very well edited. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. We need scary videos, so if you see something that you think should be on Nukes Top 5, be sure to email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Email link in the description. Cats in the Cradle. Nurse Marquette Jean from Mankato, Minnesota is enjoying a quiet night at home when suddenly her eye catches something strange on her daughter's baby monitor. Marquette Jean sees a bizarre figure that That's resembles a cat. a cat that seems to pass right through her daughter's bedroom door. But when she asks little Everly about the cat, the three-year-old instead complains that, quote, there's a monster in the window and yeah, that she's kid. scared. Now, oddly enough, Marquette says that her beloved cat passed away last summer. She also says that, quote, weird and bad things have been happening in their home for a very long time, but this is the first time that they have ever caught anything on camera. Marquette is not sure exactly what this is. There's strange Playmates. Afnan Arash claims that a strange presence has invaded his home in Kuala Lumpur, Did Malaysia. They... Oh my God. He Every says- time I press pause, it doesn't work. So does that mean that the cat passed away and then they saw a spooky cat ghost or the cat passed away after okay as that this powerful entity seems to grow stronger with each passing day <clears throat> Afnan fully expects that one of his family members is simply playing a prank on him. But when he yanks the curtain back, there's no one there. But the bizarre paranormal activity in Afnan's house soon starts to become even stronger. Something seems to be hiding in the very small cupboard in Afnan's kitchen. You know what? It was the same voice as uh, that laugh of the shadow figure that was beside, behind the curtains. Something that quickly reveals a small child. Okay, look a at the hand. Okay, so it looks okay. like... Hmm. And... Afnan begins to wonder if the strange entity that he is dealing with is attempting to imitate a child. I'm just wondering where And to his horror, before long, whatever this presence is seems to attach itself to his young son. Assalamualaikum! I feel like we've seen this one. Dupis! Dupis! Muscle! Dupis! 
Lubis. Kenapa Lubis selalu main di tu? This is just very well made. Afnan is horrified when his son seems to start playing with some strange entity that he can't see. But then, one night, the bizarre presence seems to show itself in its true form, and its pure nightmare fuel. Something with long dark hair can be seen lingering behind the fridge, but when Afnan goes to look, there's nothing there. This thing then appears out of the darkness right in front of him. Now, as always, I leave it up to you to decide whether the clips are- It's just very, very well edited. There's nothing there. This thing then appears out of the darkness right in front of him. And it's crazy because you can't tell that it's been cut. I can't see that it's now, been cut. As always, I leave it up to you to decide whether the clips are real or not. But either way, these videos are definitely very creepy. The Dark Visitor. Yeah, I don't know for this one. Like, I can't specifically find where they've edited and all that. But it's definitely, it's too perfect, right? It's definitely been edited. It's just very, very well made, I think. Uh, the little girl by the fridge was pretty spooky, I'll be honest. TikTok user Alex from the Dominican Republic receives a very bizarre video from one of his friends. The video shows his friend leaving his apartment to go to work at around 5.30 in the morning. What happens next is truly bizarre. Weird. While closing his apartment door, a very odd looking dark translucent figure can be seen in the background just walking Somebody through the tripped. hallway. But then it just disappears into thin air. The guy catches the figure from the corner of his eye, but he doesn't realize what it was until he It trips. But then... It looks like somebody has their jacket pulled over their heads. Like, you know, when you put your, your thing up there. It just disappears into thin air. That's the weird. guy catches the figure from the corner of his eye, but he doesn't realize what it was until he reviews his... I wish they would show this guy walking away to the door to see if the same effect happens if it's just a really bad camera. CCTV footage. The clip went viral on TikTok, racking up nearly 7 million views, and tons of viewer feedback came pouring in. So to very quickly answer some viewer questions and even claims that the video was fake, the guy records a super quick video to explain exactly what happened. Este video el cual se viralizó no tiene ningún tipo de edición, así como yo le estuve explicando a Alex, estamos con la cámara que lo captó y este es el pasillo, fue todo real, mi gente, gracias. So, what do you think this could be? Is it real or is it all just a TikTok hoax? You decide. Attachments. Daniel Thompson from California lives with his mother in a house completely filled with his mom's collection of antique dolls furniture, and vintage trinkets. Hey guys, gonna give a little tour of my place because uh, I guess some of you are asking about it. Hi, Mom. Uh, hi, how are you doing? Check out this uh, 1930s Art Deco mannequin. Okay, all of this vintage stuff my mom got in like France, I think. Your mom seems like dolls. she's a hoot. It's 1928. My mom just like collects dolls. Every room of this house is filled with antique even the bathroom. Cool. Daniel says that his mother has been collecting antiques for as long as he can remember. 
and he's starting to believe that some of the items might have something supernatural attached to them. One night when Daniel hears bizarre tapping coming from a room downstairs, he takes out his phone and begins to record. Guys. Dollhouse. There's a camera on the dollhouse? That's weird. Where is this coming from? Weird. It's like knocking at the door. Open the door. <laughs> Hello? After the odd experience, Daniel decides to install a security camera to keep an eye on the creepy antique dollhouse. Five days later, and this happens. Miniature furniture inside the dollhouse seemingly moves all by itself. Cut to the next night. That's not it's 2.30 a.m. and the knocking returns. But this time, it's not coming from the dollhouse. I like that they're showing both of it, at least. You don't lock your doors? Look at the beams like up top and look at the old school windows. At this point, Daniel That's has really had cool enough house. and he moves the old dollhouse into the garage with some other old collectibles. And this is when things start to get really creepy. must just be an old toy thing. I remember I had a doll like that and the eyes would stick. Disturbingly, so a doll's eyes seem to move on their own. Daniel begins to wonder if whatever is haunting the dollhouse might have moved into the creepy little doll. Might have but a little some of Daniel's viewers on TikTok start to get a bit suspicious. 
might be have a little motor in it and then uh, the doll is really supposed to blink but since it's really old it blinks really slow that's what I'm thinking suspicious as to whether his clips are real so some of you are saying that I am making all of this up which I totally get and honestly I cannot prove to you like, lying. undoubtedly you that I'm that it's real I just am reporting to you guys what I am seeing now, you even Daniel's own mother is skeptical of his claims that something from the dollhouse might now be haunting their home. But all that changes one night when she too experiences something downright chilling. So he put a camera recording on his mom and then he scared her. As Daniel's mother is watching TV on the couch, little footsteps like those of a small child can be heard running right behind her. The sudden spooky sound startles her so much that she quickly raises up to look and is visibly freaked out because there's no one there. So could Daniel's mother's hobby of collecting antiques for all these years be the cause of their paranormal experiences? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I think it's a hoax. The man on the top floor. Japanese paranormal investigator Gachan from the YouTube channel Clip Store sets out to explore an old abandoned hotel all by himself. The hotel sadly had to close its doors in financial ruin over 30 years ago driving the owner of the hotel to tragically end his own life. Visitors to the abandoned structure often claim to have seen the apparition of a man, and some say they've even heard his voice. I feel like we've seen this one before. Now, while exploring the second floor of the hotel, Gachan is a bit shaken up when he hears strange noises coming from somewhere in the hallway. There's a bed on the floor, isn't there? One of the hotel room doors slams shut all by itself. Gachan's first instinct is to make sure that no other person is with him in the hotel, and he asks several times whether someone is there. When he receives no answer, he takes a look inside the room, but no one there. During his investigation, Gachan keeps hearing something dripping inside the hotel's elevator shaft. When he reaches the top of the building, he takes a look inside the open shaft. What happens next is downright chilling. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. something to pop out. Did you see it? 
Chan looks inside the elevator shaft but doesn't find anything to explain the strange dripping noise he's been hearing. But when he walks away, his camera pans around and captures the horrifying sight of two legs hanging inside the top of the elevator shaft. That's weird. But why was he recording like that? Gachan doesn't even know what he just captured. Because he looked up top, right? He showed. He shows the whole entire top. You see the entire top. You know what? That wasn't the top floor. He said it was, but it wasn't. And there's another floor on top of him and somebody just dangled their legs behind him. Because why not? Why... Why else would he record like this? Did you see it? Kachan looks inside the elevator shaft but doesn't For find- For once he doesn't have the camera on his face and it's to capture that. Anything to explain the strange dripping noise he's been hearing. But when he walks away, his camera pans around and captures the horrifying sight of two legs hanging inside the top of the elevator shaft. Meh. Spooky, but meh. Gachan doesn't even know what he just captured until he reviews his footage later at home. So could it be that these pale legs belong to the spirit of the deceased owner? Or is there something else going on here? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire two-part investigation over on the YouTube channel, Clip Store. The Haunted Nevada State Prison. Paranormal investigator AJ from the YouTube channel Ghost Vexers Paranormal sets out to investigate the infamous Nevada State Prison in Carson City, Nevada. The prison was built in 1862 and housed some of the most notorious and violent inmates in the world, many of whom never made it out. With hundreds of deeply troubled prisoners that lost their lives inside its walls and 160 years worth of history, it's no wonder that the building is said to be extremely haunted. The old prison was closed down in 2012 and the custodians now host creepy tours to share the strange and very dark history of the prison. AJ is exploring the abandoned jail late at night in hopes of catching some sort of supernatural activity. As he's walking along a cell block all by himself, he captures something truly chilling. By the way, I'm enjoying myself there. I love watching these videos as much as I complain when stuff is fake. I'm just that my back is hurting a little bit, so I'm I'm just like leaning back. <laughs> All right, I'm going to head back. anything on slow motion I didn't that see was it pretty terrifying right in front of AJ a tall white figure appears to walk by and out of sight the investigator says that he didn't even see the apparition at the time and only noticed it when he went back through his footage now if you're a longtime viewer of this channel you know that AJ isn't the first one to capture something truly bizarre at the old Nevada State Prison the Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations team, Patrick and Jason, also caught something on camera in the prison that they just didn't see at the time. Jason is filming Patrick as he walks down one of the prison hallways. In order to provoke some sort of supernatural activity, Patrick is acting as if he's a new inmate who just arrived at the Nevada State Prison. And then, this happens. I'm the newest prisoner, which sells mine. Did you see it? Even though no. the bright light shining on Patrick from the camera doesn't change at all, 
Some odd black shadow suddenly envelops most of Patrick's body, blocking out the light. The haunted side team only noticed this strange unexplained light anomaly after reviewing their video later. There is no logical explanation as to why Patrick would suddenly be covered in darkness. So combined with AJ's bizarre white figure, we have two creepy incidents there caught is. on camera at the Nevada State Prison. If there's a sign on top of these bars right here, if there is a, some kind of sign on top, it would have blocked the light from reflecting on that guy, right? And then he moves across and then the sign is done. So we would have to have seen like a zoomed out version of exactly where he was in the prison cell to make sure there's nothing up top blocking the light. Because that's what I visually would think. So is the old jail haunted by its former inmates? Let me know what you think. And that white- These paranormal- That white standing thing, like I- It just looked like a reflection, like I don't know. Normal moments can be found on the YouTube channels Ghost Vexers, Paranormal, and The Haunted Side. Frozen in his tracks. TikTok user Creed4 is enjoying a hike out his former inmates. Let me know what you think. Vexers, Paranormal, and The Haunted Side. Jeez, that purse. Paranormal investigations and true crime content. 179 million subscribers? Must be thousand. Frozen in his tracks. TikTok user Creed4 is enjoying a hike out in the woods when he notices a small bunny behaving very strangely. Okay. Hanging around. Why are they even filming right now? Someone covered their mouth and said, Oh, frig off. This is so stupid. A wild rabbit freezes in its tracks and doesn't move even when the hiker comes close. And his camera captures a creepy muffled voice asking for help. believes yeah. he might have captured some kind of strange creature trying to lure him out into the woods. <sighs> he says that he'll never hike again without some kind of weapon. So what do you think this creepy voice could be? <laughs> Let me know. Undetected. Nuke right, Top 5 viewer German good. Corona reached out to me about a very strange incident that he captured at his home in Santa Barbara, California. German says that one night he got an alarming notification from his security camera that a person had been spotted on top of his roof. He hurried outside to investigate, what? but he found no one and nothing there. The same night he receives another notification. Again, a person has been detected on his property. When he reviews his security footage, he is shocked by what he finds. staring behind me. 
like Bronson could hear it and got spooked. It's okay, Bab. Just looking at me like, what's going on? Now it's a little hard to make out, but the faint shape of something can be seen moving around on German's property, seemingly climbing from the ground up to the roof and then back down again. Whatever it is seems to capture the attention of German's cat, who it seems like to stare at the bizarre the shape before just looking around in absolute confusion. So could it be that German accidentally captured paranormal activity outside his home? It actually looks like a ref some kind of weird reflection of the cat from a bad camera. Or what do you think this could be? Let me know. Cat. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, do it now. And then also turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. You can also follow me on the socials and just say, uh, hi there, Nuke. Anyway, I hopefully I will see you. I followed him on his socials on Twitter and everything. So. I mean, like I said before, the first one, I feel personally is hard to beat because it's pretty crazy like the hangman one i feel this one i actually believe because i can't imagine a parent would do this to their child this i would actually you know what we should, we can always go look and see like what does paranormal do? theory strong the man so mm, okay so let's go check out his tiktok TikTok. I have a TikTok, by the way. <laughs> uh, I post like random spooky videos and funny stuff on there. Same thing as my uh, YouTube shorts, basically. But if we look for paranormal theory. Uh, I'm looking for it. His son was too scared to sleep in his own room, but as the father looks over at the cameras, he would realize why. A man named Ricky explains that his son Elliot says he has been seeing a man in his room that has been scaring him at night. And that one day, he found a disturbing drawing in his son's room of a weeping hanged man which is okay it's from this tiktok so it's basically going from one tiktok to another and i can't actually find that guy's real story so i don't know i don't know i tried This this is pretty, yeah. Let's look at the comments. The best thing about Nuke not having strict schedule is that it's pleasant, yeah. I love how creepiest episode, the guy messing around with curtain blanket goes sure knows how to hide cuts well. Yes! Yes! Play 0 0.25 speed and you can see the very brief but noticeable cuts. Ah ha ha! Somebody got him! I'm gonna thumbs up this shit. Hell yeah, I need to th make sure you thumbs up the video if you click on the link, eh? Give Nuke all the views and everything. I freaking knew it. I knew it. Imagine being a spirit and finally having enough energy to attach yourself to a house to realize you accidentally picked a dollhouse. Wow. The one with the children is terrifying. It's crazy. Uh, Falling asleep on the sofa with the... With the lights on, perfect. Brought me rushing back to my childhood with mom having watching horror movies. And the monster on my bed had a field day with... Uh, <laughs> okay, somebody fell asleep. For the one with the cat, are said to protect their owners from unseen forces such as demons. The cat she saw was probably the spirit of her previous cat. Okay. Uh, it always baffles me when people hear a person in the forest crying out for help and don't think to, like, maybe call the police. Yeah, exactly. 
Noosa, even though some of the stuff seems sketchy about its legitimacy, it's always fun to watch. Exactly. It's always just fun to watch and chit chat about it. My heart breaks for each child in that video. Yeah. When Du was panning through the dollhouse, I was expecting to see something looking back at him. Yeah, when he opened that little wit, that little door, I was like, uh oh. The best of days, randomly seeing notifications, watching Nuke. Okay, number two, frozen in its tracks. Here we go. Reminded me about the time my auntie and I went way out in the middle of nowhere along the San Juan River here in New Mexico. We crossed the shallow river into a th wait this is the same story what this person is just posting their story over and over again they're on the last video too what a little fucker story one he needs to look up the history of the home the main Man, his son keeps seeing could be someone who hung themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, yeah, like, pretty much everyone agrees the first one was really good. But anyways, have a good rest of your week. Thank you for being here. And sweet nightmares.